Eugene Davidovich with Americans for Safe Access. Any questions? Hello, man. What's your name? Why are you wearing the mask? And why are you harassing legitimate patients? I'm not harassing anybody. What's your name? Why are you harassing and raiding legitimate patients? I'm not doing anything. Really? Why are you doing here then? Hang it out, man. Hang it really? Out. You're just hanging out? It sure looks like you're raiding legitimate patients. So what's it feel like to raid legitimate sick and dying patients? What are you here to do, sir? Are you here to remove the safe? Have you double check the search warrant? Sir, what are you here to do? No, and they're technically not required to do it for sure. What's your name? Nathan Shaker. You're the attorney, right? For a while, yeah, with Jeff Lake. So I'm going to be up on the operation from the end, you know, getting a copy of the warrant and stuff like that, but there's only so much that I can do. Why are you removing your badge? Why are you videotaping? Because what you're doing is wrong. You know that you're about to go and break into a legal facility. Under illegal orders. Contractor's license. Remember, you have the right to remain silent. You don't have to speak to them. Don't speak to them at all. Wait to speak only to your attorney. Don't tell them anything at all. What they're doing is illegal. They're committing a crime right now, and you, officer, will be held accountable. This is wrong. This is a legal facility. You are breaking the law. Find a different job to do. What you're doing is wrong, sir. This is the face of oppression in San Diego. Ask to speak to your attorney. You have the right to speak to a lawyer, and there is a lawyer here waiting to get in. They're refusing to let your attorney in. For the, uh, I did about hundred trying to get off work to come get my medication. Eh? Lister. Hey, you want to talk to us? No? Officer Why not? You're making lots of facial gestures. We should love to talk to you, buddy. Lister. Officer Lister. No, we videotaping the cops. Badge number 4471, San Diego Police Department. Officer is corroborating with the feds on an illegal bust against legitimate patients right here in San Diego. This is an attorney trying to get in. they've been advised of their rights? I just want to know if they've been advised of their rights. I haven't seen anybody do it. Nobody will confirm it. I see one girl crying in there like she's being interrogated. I just want to know. Putting your badge on backwards doesn't mean it's on. I didn't know what you said at the end there. Can you tell me if they did it? his license by That's all I want to know. This is the dispensary's attorney trying to find out if the operators, employees, and other folks that are trapped inside of the dispensary have been advised of their rights. He has been refused access as well as has not been responded to. So all the patients are on the floor. Looks like one female is crying in there and was being interrogated a minute ago. The masked DEA and NTF agents are standing directly over the patients. 
is Mark Carlson, the agent that's been in charge of raiding dispensaries for years here in San Diego. Looks like he is the NTF agent on the scene. This is the same man that raided Javon Jackson's place. DEA, go away! DEA, go away! DEA, go away! Stop harassing patients! Let the people go! This is unlawful! Let the patients out of the collective immediately! This is absolutely unlawful! You are breaking state law right now! There are legitimate patients that are locked up in this facility by the DEA being harassed, being raided, and who knows, maybe even being beaten in there right now. They are refusing to let them out. They're refusing to let their attorney in. This is absolutely unlawful. in the back with NTF shirts on getting your medical cards you look like Santa Claus that's right for real? him right there they're patients for that all of them got a mask on. Hi, there's uh, three raids going on right now on three dispensaries by the DEA in San Diego. Um, the uh, locations that are being raided, one is 6186 uh, University Avenue, and there's two others going on right now. Yeah, one's in Pacific Beach, the other's in North Park. The you are illegally stealing medical records right now. You are not allowed to do that, Mark Carlson and the other cops that will be named later online You're and held accountable in the court of public opinion. You are breaking the law. Cease and desist right now. You are breaking the law. You do not have a right to raid patients. This is illegal what you're doing. You are not serving the public good right now. You are serving the wrong side. You are committing a crime. Stop stealing patients' medical a lighter, records. A lighter and an evidence bag. A lighter and an evidence bag. Yeah. Wow. This is going to take all night. Come on, SDPD. Where you at? Do I look healthy, Man. officer? Do I look like a young, healthy male? I know you probably spoke. Would weed you believe that I have testicular cancer? You didn't sign up to arrest people that want to take marijuana instead of Vicodin and Percocet to be at work. What about you? If you get hurt one day and you get addicted to pain pills and you have no alternative for pain management at all, what do you do? What do you do? I can tell you, Nothing you sure you hope die? that Officer Lister doesn't come and arrest you.
Yeah. 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 Y
demonstrate that this is unreasonable action. It's in direct violation of California state laws and is immediately detrimental to all the patients that need <laughs> access to medicinal cannabis and gain it through this facility. And in addition to the federal agents that they have here, they also had the San Diego PD here, which is, to the best of my knowledge, a Tenth Amendment violation by utilizing state resources to enforce federal law. So they're actually actively breaking the law while doing this raid. They're, they're breaking the U.S. Constitution for something that really isn't hurting anybody or causing any damage and uh, it's just an incredible waste of resources and uh, I guess a domestic version of terrorism on patients. At this point they're taking everything out of the facility so they're taking all the patients records, computers, um, say that every, anything and everything that's inside they're taking it out. Earlier they had come in, pointed guns at the patients and the employees, forced everyone onto the ground, held them for about three hours for questioning. Um, and at this point, I believe all the employees and patients have been let go and they're in the final stages of removing all the last supplies out of the facility. Unfortunately, there's been a very, very strong sort of crackdown against medical cannabis patients within the state of California. It's been happening in other parts of the country as well, but most significantly here in California. Um, we've had the Department of Justice sending out letters all across the state to the owners of the buildings where dispensaries are present, letting them know that they'll confiscate their property if they don't evict them. In San Diego locally, we've had the city attorney actively trying to force every dispensary to close by filing lawsuits against them. There's at least 88 lawsuits that have been filed that I'm aware of currently. Now, in, in addition to the, the letters, the lawsuits, um, and significant harassment, we've had many reports of police officers and agents standing out front of dispensaries, harassing the patients, threatening patients, um, blocking patients from being able to come inside, and that was all leading up to what's happening now, which is a full-on attack and assault against the patients of this particular collective and all of its employees. And on the voters of California as a whole, because what they're doing right now is in direct opposition to Proposition 215, which is what the voters of California decided on, is to allow the use of medicinal cannabis for those in need. And unfortunately, that law is being trampled upon at this point. It's time for everybody within the community to stand up, regardless of whether you're for the use of medical cannabis or not. <clears throat> this is just a blatant abuse of federal power to overthrow states' rights, and it won't stop with this issue. So it's critical that everybody bands together to stand up against the abuses of federal power and make sure that <clears throat> actions like this don't continue to happen.